What's going on, guys? This is Matt, and I am here with Adequate. How's it going? What's up, man? Introduce yourselves. My name's Dustin Covington. I'm the vocalist. My name's David. I'm the drummer. Tommy Wilson. I play bass. George. I play guitar. Awesome. So, so tell me, guys. guys. Tell me guys, who's that? David, David Mammoth Gray. Oh, the yeah. Mammoth! The Mammoth. Hell yeah. Because he's a beast, he's a beast on the drums. Yeah. So freaking badass. Yes. You guys have a really badass sound too. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are Appreciate more it. like a prog rock, right? Yes. 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 Awesome. Progressive rock. So um, tell me, uh, how did the band form? Uh, These two guys. I put a Craigslist ad up yeah. and Bree answered it. And yeah, he... Bree, my fiance, who's our band manager, saw the Craigslist ad that David put up and... We discussed all kinds of bands we like at Starbucks. Started jamming, and Dustin moved back from Texas. Oh, then... backtrack a little bit. Oh, George <laughs> lived in Hollywood at one point. Biography. I lived in Texas. Yeah. And George decided to move out to Texas so we could start making some music. Oh, wow. And he did that. Up in Bounce yeah. Hollywood, moved to Texas. We started writing some music. It was really cool, really progressive, more than what we do now. Then nothing worked out because it was a shithole of a city. Yeah. Uh, that's when he moved back to California. Yeah. That little backstory to how this And then got eventually together. I found David on Craigslist and then we started playing. David Great is over there. Amazing. Dustin <laughs> moved back from Texas and we started jamming with him and all of a sudden he's ridiculous on the vocals. And Tommy's my cousin who's an awesome bass player and it just kinda came together only really like Three weeks ago? Yeah. yeah. Three, three weeks, weeks ago. First show. It's a whole band. Yeah, tonight's the first show. Tonight was the first Commenting show. Commenting on your vocals, man, I feel like, you know, you have a voice that stands out. Like, you know, like uh, what, what training did you have? Well, started singing uh, when I was head over heels in love with sticks at like five years old. <laughs> and Journey. Then my dad showed me Dream Theater when I was like eight. Um, you know, so that's a very high range when you got those vocalists going on lots of vibrato and then I was in choir and jazz choir at Maria Carrillo and and uh, so I got a lot of vocal training in that aspect really melodic really trained That's sick. but then I got a hold of Tool That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. And then Tool Game fucked over. my life for the better. <laughs> Cuz I was just feel better. Say, they fucked my life. I don't like some of the bands around the area like you guys are pretty technical. I I know we're technical, but we're not technical at the same time. It's like a groove, yeah, but yeah, yeah, it's yeah. definitely groovy, but it's, it's it definitely takes a, yeah. some thought put into it. That's it gets for people sure. Moving. That's well, basically the main aspect. Which brings me to my next question: What are your guys' influences? Tool. <laughs> I got Tool. <laughs> next, I, I'm influenced by a lot of specific drummers like Gavin Harrison from Porcupine Tree, um, JoJo Meyer. Like really technical, progressive drummers, really great sound. You know, very creative with their style. Here come people. Look at George. I also have a pretty progressive background. I mean, Tool, uh, Between the Barrier to Me, Periphery. Uh, mo a lot of metal influence definitely with me, but I also, you know, uh, Porcupine Tree, also a huge influence. So, a lot of aspects. Well, you don't really hear Pantera a whole lot in our music, but I have to say, by far, Dimebag Daryl is the biggest uh, guitar influence for me. But I can tell right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. <laughs> but uh, Tool, um, I mean, ironically enough, I play guitar, but Maynard from Tool is a huge influence, mainly on how creative he is in his songwriting. But uh, Porcupine Tree, Dream Theater, and Gojira. Again, you don't hear that in our music, but Gojira is an awesome metal band, and yeah. I take a lot of my riffs from them too. So, and let's all say Zeppelin because I think we all Definitely. Zeppelin's a huge influence. You're gonna get influence. classic. You're gonna go Zeppelin and Rush <laughs> too. With huge us. influence. It's, it's, it's gonna be a lot of big. Yeah, I won't yeah, lie. I got some. I got Definitely. some mainstream influences too. Can't go wrong. I listen to like a lot of. Dustin like Bull for my Valentine. Well, and you don't hear it in our music ask really, me, but he could break it down. Asking Alexandria, for I listen to that <laughs> wow. band a lot. Like, I did not expect that from you guys. You know, <laughs> hey, you, don't you don't hear it. Though. You don't hear it, but <laughs> you don't hear it, I draw but, influence from hey, those things. Wow. I really do. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, and yeah. his is just as good I like as the, ours, I like so. watching the Bad Girls Club. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Dude, I had a so, fuck phase. You know? I mean, that cat house a lot, playing tighter and grooving more. Yeah. Definitely. David Garibaldi, Tower of Power. Al Di Miola is Tower of Power? Al Di Miola. Yeah. Amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. guitar player. Yeah. Ridiculous. So a lot of people don't know his name, even though he's by far the best guitarist in the world, in my opinion. He's ridiculous. That's another big influence. So, There's influence all over the place. Yeah. I think that's what I think that's what helps our sound really stand out. Ties everything together, yeah. I mean, makes something got 
every aspect of everything. Tons of stuff. I think our message is, as far as musicians, let is chain. Let me, let me let, let touch Dustin. Yeah, stuff. Let Dustin. Yeah, go for it. All right. Well, yeah, lyrically, a lot of this music comes from personal stuff, but then it comes from very, very broad, uh, generalized topics that pretty much anybody can relate to. Anybody, if you start yeah, breaking exactly. down what we're writing about, once we actually like record, we got lyrics available for people to read, you'll start to see a lot of generalized themes that pretty much anybody can catch on to anywhere that they're anywhere in life, whatever they're doing, they'll be able to they'll be able to latch onto it somehow. Relatable. Very relatable. Um, and I got a lot of anger actually. <laughs> you don't notice it until I start writing. I guess that's where it all goes. Uh, you could say a lot of the, the, the lyrics are pretty pissed off sounding. But, uh, I think we're also trying to contribute positive growth and it's getting there as musicians as a band in the music yeah. industry I think what we're really trying to do is you know we're trying okay uh, Phil from Pantera I always I have to say that he said this he once said that like Pantera put 10 bands in a basket stirred them up and came out sounding like Pantera and they don't sound like anybody we're, we're not trying to put two bands in a basket we're trying to do something like that we're trying to put all these influence in one basket all these thoughts all this anger everything that Dustin has driving him every Everybody's putting as much they can into this band, and what's coming out of it is and that, out of crypt. I mean, it brings just... it brings the energy and the beauty that is the music of this band. Really, I mean, it's, I got it's one amazing. song about desires and just freedom to do whatever the hell you please. I got another song about pain and war and religious conflict and how I think it's unnecessary. You know, so it touches so many different spectrums. We've got one song that's just about somebody who cheated on me. Yeah, <laughs> let's say it. It's just the girl who cheated on me and it's one of my favorite you songs. Know, I think but, every band has I mean, to have oh one yeah, song like that. We do. <laughs> we do. You've got every aspect. A lot of anger. You've got politics, you got love, you got drugs, you got everything that Classic comes into theme. Yeah, you, mm -hmm. you just time all that plus timeless. Timeless. Yeah. If, you, if you want to look at like you want to get all literature on this bitch, you got like Shakespeare, right? Yeah. <laughs> Timeless themes, they touch on the things that anybody, no matter where they are in life, they're going to be able to relate to because it hits. And you've got the Period. themes and you've got, you've got the influence that comes from everybody here, so it just ties in amazingly. Yeah, yeah that's not <laughs> But musicians in the local community and the show that we're going to play with Waxwing and all kinds of other bands, Really, we do have positive messages in every song. You know, yeah. it might, it might it's not just negative. Some of them might even have like some goofy lyrics in them, which some of them are like, you know, they can be taken one way. But in the end, we're all smiling when we're playing our music, and we're hoping that everyone leaves the show with a smile. Hoping that everyone listens to our CD has a smile. You know, when they put their iPod down, when they get out of their car, it's really just it's meant to help people get through things, and that's yeah. that's what music for, was for me in high school, and I'm sure for everybody else. Put your headphones on, it makes you feel better and chills, man. Can I, can I quote a song of ours? Yeah. This is probably the most positive message I've personally written for any of our songs. It's at the very end of our song, In the Name of. Uh, I'll search for love in your void divine. I see the world broken behind all your sway and beyond the lies. I find my inspiration in love and harmony and the power of compassion in our amity and all things beautiful and serenity. Yada, yada, yada. It's great. <laughs> wow. Tons of positivity.
That's yeah. very poetic. Yeah. I like right? that. I like that. Probably the most powerful and positive chunk of lyrics I've written for this band so far. Oh, very cool. I hope it becomes somewhat anthemic. Oh, yeah. People just will. catch on to it. Will. So, positivity. I mean, every band. Well, positive every good band I'm hoping is going for positivity, but. Equal balance. We really want to move. Yeah. We want to get this music scene taken yeah. off in the Sonoma County area. It will. It will with us here. It really will. <laughs> no doubt. There you too go. Driven, too it will. We are, we're too motivated I to just sit here I and play. I can guarantee you that it will get going. No doubt. Yeah. So there you yeah, go. it already That's has. Adequate. That's adequate. And I'm out of beer. I'm out of beer too. Mm-hmm.
yeah, we'll see you guys on September 27th at oh, the yeah. Francis Center in Santa Rosa. Awesome. Looking and, forward uh, to it. We can't wait to uh, see you guys kick ass again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll All right. be there.